So there is already a sound protocol for doing what uh, the video title is, right? So how to install uh, CMake GUI and CMake latest versions in Ubuntu. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is basically walking through this whole process, right? So the first thing you're going to do is, of course, go to step number one. You're going to open a terminal, and you're going to type you're going to type CMake, and then followed by version to check if you have it if you have it installed. And so after writing that, well, in my case, I actually have it sourced already and installed, so that's why it appears there, right? But if you don't have it installed, you will not get this option. So, however, if you have a latest, an older version installed, what you're going to do is you're going to type this line, so do apt get purge cmake, and then that's going to clear your previous, your old uh, cmake uh, application okay so after you do that you're gonna install download the latest CMake from the official site which is here and if it's given that it's Ubuntu the video the, it's on the scope on the video you're gonna if you have an Ubuntu operating system you're gonna click here you're gonna click here under the platform platform Unix Linux source and you're gonna just download the file okay so after it's done downloading you're gonna of course go to downloads and you're gonna move it to your desktop. Okay, so we're gonna change directory to downloads and CMake. Actually, let's not do that. Let's uh, move it from download CMake and all the way to the desktop. Okay, so it would be uh, it would be to desktop. So you're gonna just run this line. For some reason. <laughs> Why am I having? Why am I getting a tutorial source? Okay, it would be 3.25, right? That would be it. Yeah. So you're gonna type this line, and you're gonna that that will move it to your desktop. Okay. So now you see that there's a newly created, there's a newly moved <laughs> a CMake installation folder. And what we're gonna do is just extract it here by right clicking and clicking extract here. And it takes some time, as you can see. Close. So now you have that file. Okay. So after doing that, after extracting the file, what you're going to do is you're going to move inside the file. So we're going to change directory to desktop because it's in the desktop now. We change directory to that extracted file. And now you'll see that there's a lot of like stuff inside but with ls after uh going going inside this folder you're gonna execute go through step number four you're gonna execute bootstrap and then followed by qtgui and then that's gonna take some time some reasonable about decent amount of time so you can see that it will be uh it's just the whole process right so i'm gonna be pausing the video uh, right now, so it just doesn't take too much time. All right, so now that CMake, that CMake, Bootstrap has been, the execution of Bootstrap has been finished. You can see that it said that it has been bootstrapped and now runs GMake. So that's what we're gonna do. We just have to type GMake and that's it. And then continue the, inst that will continue the installation. And that's gonna take some time. So I'm gonna pause the video again. All right, so after you've run GMake, you'll see that your CMake project has been built. So for that we can, so if you go to your, if you are in your desktop and CMake already, I just disregard what I'm doing here. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go change directory from inside your CMake folder to the bin folder, or uh, which stands for binary files. And you'll see that now it has been created. So that's, that's where you'll find all the CMake applications that have been built. So now you can, of course, run CMake and CMake GUI. Uh, from this specific directory. So that's the CMake GUI, which can be helpful on building projects. And you can also run CMake uh, through the terminal in this way, with this format. Now, of course, uh, if you go to a different directory, you'll, you will not be able to run CMake because it's not really there. And it hasn't been declared that binary, the binary path hasn't been declared globally. So that's what we're going to be doing next. Right. So before uh, to, to start with that, really, what you're going to be doing is you're going to move 
the CMake folder that is in your desktop to your OPT directory. Now to do that you have to uh, go one directory upwards to basically the desktop directory. And after you're in the desktop directory what you're gonna do is you're gonna be typing sudo for super user privileges, mv for moving, and you're gonna be moving of course the CMake folder which has already been built. And you're gonna be moving it to the OPT directory. So you're gonna type this and you're gonna click enter. Now for me, I have already done so, so it will pop out an error for me because I, my CMake has already been moved there. So I'm not going to click enter, but that's the step that you need to take. After doing that, you can check that it has been moved by changing directory to the OPT directory, CD OPT, and then CD CMake. And then now you see that we have CMake there. And of course, if we change directory to the binary, we'll see that the binaries are course there now in this newly inside this uh, OPT directory okay so this will be basically uh, what this will be the path that you need to that will you will need to declare in your bash RC file we're gonna type PWD to make this copy pasting easier okay and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna be opening your um, your bash RC file to open it you can just type edit or bim whatever you'd like and then followed by the location of your batch RC I guess it would be for me it would be this one which is in your home folder your home directory I think I might have made a mistake there So uh, get it, then followed by, and that would be in the home directory. So you're going to open it, and of course before opening it with this command, you're just going to copy it, copy that uh, path, and you're going to, well, basically paste it under as a declaration. I have already done so here. I basically, let's just delete it for now, and we're going to just copy it below all our export uh, declarations here. Okay, so we can actually just copy paste uh, this export path um, seg <laughs> segment, and you'll also after you know after the directory path we're gonna type colon followed by dollar sign and path, and as a comment we can just write path to CMake. Okay, so that's what you need to do. That's all you need to do basically. After doing that, you'll just save it and then close it. And now we're gonna be what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sourcing. No, <laughs> we're gonna be sourcing the bash RC with the mo basically saving the modification and that declaration of the CMake. So after sourcing, you just type that and click enter, and then that will basically uh, modify all these changes. We're gonna clear this directory terminal and now with that you'll be able to run uh, CMake and CMake GUI applications through really anywhere in your computer so we can go back to our home directory and we can run just type CMake and you see it will appear right we can also type CMake oops CMake GUI and then we can use that you know the user interface really in our home directory we can go to our desktop and we can also run whoops we can also run CMake GUI from our desktop we can run CMake GUI or CMake from anywhere really and go to our downloads folder run CMake right and we can run CMake GUI from there as well okay so with that I'd like to end my video thank you for watching if you have come to this to the end and if you would like my video, there's a thumbs up button somewhere there. If you would like the videos I'm making, um, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.